Microlearning, Little Message with a Big Impact. Education is so important. It inspires people and helps them get the tools they need to do their jobs well. And it can be really hard to deliver. People are often not engaged, they're bored, the information is not sticking, there is never enough time, everyone is frustrated. How do we get to the nugget of what people need to know? How can we do it in a way that engages learners so it sticks with people and they can easily put it into practice? How do we better meet the needs of people working in long-term care and healthcare? We think it's time to look at a new way of learning, microlearning. What is microlearning? Just what it sounds like. It's short videos under 10 minutes long that get right to the point of a topic, all types of topics. Microlearning videos are delivered to learners continually and frequently, often on a weekly basis. So they build upon each other and reinforce information. They are little messages with a big impact. How is microlearning different from other types of education or training? Microlearning is learner-centered. What do we mean by this? It meets a learner where he or she is. Microlearning is flexible. You can watch it whenever you want and on a computer, smartphone, or tablet. It's customizable. A learner can watch whichever videos best suits his or her needs. A learner can pick from a library of videos, or an organization can create a curriculum of videos for their employees. Microlearning addresses different learning styles, visual learners, auditory learners, and it breaks down information into bite-sized pieces so it's less overwhelming. It's cost-effective. The videos can be watched over and over and by as many people as possible. You don't need to get everyone in the same room at the same time for a one-time education program. And microlearning is for everyone, all members of the team, nurse aides, nurses, administrators, social workers, housekeepers, cooks, servers, maintenance workers, receptionists, everyone. Microlearning isn't meant to replace in-person or other types of educational programs. It complements training that you already do and could be a better way to ensure information is received, and it helps you meet training requirements. So what does microlearning look like? Here's the microlearning lesson on dementia to give you an idea. Welcome to Microlearning, Little Message with a Big Impact. This is Lesson 44, Stepping into Their World. All actions and reactions of people with dementia are a form of communication. There are many possible reasons behind the actions of a person with dementia. We need to really try to listen to the actions of a person with dementia. Then we can respond to them in a way that really meets their needs. One way of listening to a person with dementia is to really step into their world, be with them where they are. This means that we take a step back, hear what they are saying, and accept it as their truth. It is not so much about whether what a person with dementia is saying is right or wrong in our eyes. It is trying to understand what a person with dementia is communicating to us. Let's watch a video showing how Lisa, a nurse aide, steps into the world of Mrs. Wilson, a person with dementia. Good morning, Mrs. Wilson. It's Lisa. May I please come in? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Um, I have a wonderful bath ready for you. Let's go. It'll feel really good. No. I don't want one, thank you. No. I had a bath yesterday. Oh, um, okay. Well, well, how about a shower today? No. I don't want one. All right. I'm sorry, Mrs. Wilson. Um, no? How about I get some of that nice lavender lotion you really like? Okay. Yeah? Great. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, hey. Hey, I thought you were giving Mrs. Wilson her bath. No, she said she had one yesterday. Uh, it was my day off. Did you give her a bath yesterday? Nope. I know she didn't get one. Her daughter was here with her all morning. Yeah. That's what I thought. I'm just going to help her wash up and get that new lavender lotion. 
You want to meet for lunch? Okay. See you later. All right. How did Lisa step into Mrs. Wilson's world? Mrs. Wilson told Lisa that she already had a bath. Lisa did not argue with her. She did not try to convince Mrs. Wilson that she was wrong. She accepted this as Mrs. Wilson's truth. Lisa understood that Mrs. Wilson was communicating that she did not want a bath or shower. Lisa realized that there were reasons why Mrs. Wilson did not want her bath. She needed to try to understand them, but for now, she knew the best approach was to let Mrs. Wilson be and go with it. Although Mrs. Wilson did not want a bath or shower, Lisa helped Mrs. Wilson get clean through other ways. She helped her wash up and use the lavender lotion, a rinse-free skin cleanser. By stepping into Mrs. Wilson's world, Lisa prevented Mrs. Wilson from getting upset and met her needs. Lisa met Mrs. Wilson's need to be heard and have her choice respected. Lisa also met her need to be clean in a way that Mrs. Wilson was okay with. Person-centered care is about trying to understand and accept the perspective of each person with dementia. Rather than asking them to step into our world, we step into their world. Congratulations on completing Lesson 44. The number one goal of our microlearning lessons is that they are person-centered. In a nutshell, microlearning lessons are interesting, brief, informal, focused, and practical. What have microlearners said about microlearning? It's easy, engaging, enjoyable, efficient, effective, and empowering. Here's just a taste of what microlearners have told us. I can say I like microlearning because it's I'm a visual learner. <laughs> Some stuff they want they they like to read it to you or whatever whatever. But with micro learning, I'm visual learner. And then most I like to do stuff hands on. So I tend to watch it and and if it's something that I know I could do with the resident, I try to be a little bit more hands on and see if I'm doing it in the right um, sense. I have had dementia training where it's just like you just watching just trying to focus on what they doing and then it's just like okay I'm lost but with micro learn they do give you they try to quiz you to make sure you've been paying attention so you have to pay attention <laughs> you have to pay attention for micro learning because they actually test you at the end and some some things don't really test you they test your knowledge and I like that about micro learning the fact that micro learn it, it gives you the type of help like some some things that you didn't know at first about dementia or things that um, you didn't quite understand or couldn't understand with taking the learning um, week by week you tend to learn more and then you I would try to put what I learned in micro learning into working with the people with dementia and it kind of works hand in hand it kind of works hand in hand we know micro learning works in a recent study, researchers evaluated the impact of microlearning on people working in nine nursing homes. They found that after viewing microlearning lessons, microlearners reported better attitudes towards people with dementia, more confidence and skills, and improved job satisfaction. We think microlearning is an innovative key part of a comprehensive education program. We owe it to the people caring for our elders to make sure they have the skills, knowledge, and confidence to do their jobs well. If you'd like to learn more about how we can help you integrate microlearning into your education program, contact us.